Today I'm going to show you how to remove a stubborn outer wheel that just won't budge no matter how hard you lean on it. First, we'll drive up onto my ramps, raise this outer wheel, and we'll get started. warm up a couple minutes before you move it. Yeah, it's just a recommendation. The colder it is, the longer you let, let it warm up. You know, not just for the engine, but for the hydraulics also. I mean, there have been mornings, or days even, in northern Maine where we were below 30 below zero Fahrenheit. Now that's cold. Plus the windshield, you know, we get into you know, the minus 70s, minus 80s, and uh, you have to be really careful going out when it's that cold. And uh, this equipment, it had overhead cover, you know, in our barn, but the barn was outside temperature. So if it was minus 30 outside, it was the same temperature in the barn. That's pretty cold. Now I've already covered in detail the things you'll need for, uh, you know, spinning off the outer wheels. So just in short, I use a 26 millimeter socket, breaker bar, and uh, that's pretty much all you need to get them off. Even the 26 millimeter can be a little tight. So if you're trying to use a one inch, which is actually the, the size of this bar, it doesn't include the powder coating. Now, this should spin off pretty easily, but for the sake of showing you, now you can see, I keep these threads very nice. I keep grease in there. But in the event that you get a really stubborn wheel, probably the simplest thing to do would be to just use a ratchet strap. You know, these are the small ones rated at 2,000 pounds. You're never going to break these. So what you want to do is just take this and wrap it around the tire, cinch it up, get it a little tight. and use a breaker bar or something that will give you leverage and all you got to do is put that in here and spin that off like that. You get a lot more leverage than just trying to grab it with your arms. So the longer the stick or the longer the leverage, the more power you'll get out of it. So it's really that simple. Uh, once in a great while, I'll get one that is a little stubborn. And I have all this stuff, everything's in my truck. So no matter where I am, I have what I need to do any work or maintenance on the equipment, this included. And you don't want to forget to get this tightened back up. I had one once that worked its way loose. It was funny, I was doing a job here at home, and we have a, some pretty significant slopes around here, and I was going up a really steep one, and all of a sudden I felt this little jolt, and I look off to the side, and one of the wheels had spun loose, <laughs> and it rolled down the little hill I was on, and just kind of set itself there at the edge of the grass. I got a real, real good laugh out of it. I, first thing I did, of course, I'm looking around, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, none of the neighbors saw this, because <laughs> they teased me about that, because uh, they're all impressed with, uh, with these machines, and, you know, just having a neighbor that happens to have these things, and I wind up going to a lot of the neighbors, you know, properties here, and helping them out with this or that, and they really appreciate having someone like me around. That's the best kind of neighbor to have. And we're stuck. There we go. Again, since this is a 26 millimeter, that's just over a half a millimeter larger than 
than a one inch. So a one incher, you're never gonna get that on. You get it on, but you're not gonna get it off. In closing, for now, I wanna wish all of you a good Thanksgiving, whether you are deciding to risk it and travel, or like me, uh, staying home. I've already talked with my family, my parents, my wife's parents, and we all agree it's just best, despite the, it's, it's a hard decision to make, but in the end, we all wanna make sure that, that we're being safe. So, have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.